Hey guys, today I'll be installing a new headlight switch uh, into my uh, MK6 GTI here. As you can see there, uh, the factory one, um, it's uh, all lights off, all lights on. It doesn't give me the option for park lights, which I like having. So I've already gone ahead and um, disabled my daytime running lights. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and install the Euro switch, which will allow me to have park lights. I'll show you the switch here. So this is a new switch I'll be installing. So as you can see this one here, it's got the uh, all lights off, parks, and you can uh, pull out for your uh, for your fog lights, fog lights, and then your all lights, and then your fog lights as well. So in order for me to do that, with the new switch, you need to run a cable. This is the trigger wire uh, required. So you gotta run from the uh, harness on the light switch which the uh, factory that this one doesn't have it so we run this wire to the harness in the back there and we will to uh, activate those spark lights so first things first we'll take the light switch off so let me uh, get on the other side and we'll uh, continue on all right so to remove the uh, light switch you know press down and turn your lights on and that will release the tabs you should be able to pull it right out then turn it back off and re release the tabs. On the light switch here, it'll have a small tab. It's got to press down on it and it will release the harness. Now you got your uh, switch out. We'll go to the harness. So with the uh, these two tabs pointing up, let me zoom in here so you can see uh, better. With these two tabs pointing up, on the uh, plug here, the face of it, you'll see numbers 1, 5, 6, and 10. We, we are needing pin number 3, which will be the top middle there. And then if you look at the, at the top of the harness here, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it from there. Uh, there's two wires on either side and the middle one empty. So the one, the middle one's what we need first. Uh, so we're going to slide the wire in first, uh, clip it on here. To do that, we have to remove this uh, uh, clip here, but you can do it using your nails or a small, small flathead screwdriver. Right, so in order, in order to uh, fit the wire, uh, first we gotta remove this little cover here uh, and just holding on for a couple of clips. Uh, I'm not sure you can see there, I tried with a flathead screwdriver and it wasn't quite working. I, am, I actually broke part of the top here, which I'm not happy about. But if you have a pick, something like this, you're actually able to just kinda go here on the side of it. As you see, it's uh, almost like a C-shaped. So it uh, clips onto the bottom here. Just gotta slide it here and pull towards towards you, and it should release it easier than trying to use a screwdriver. If I can get it to work, oh, there you go. So there you are. Just pull it uh, forward or back, I should say. You and now you can slide your wire. As we can see here, one, two, three, four. The one we're looking for is right in the middle. So let me get my cable out and uh, we'll slide that through. All right, now without, uh, we got this uh, little cover open, we're gonna slide the uh, wire through. So we're gonna have it, just get enough room there to slide it uh, through. So you'll see there, it's gonna slide right through there. Now we got our uh, wire connected. Once you have done that, you want to close the cover back up. And you want to hear it click. And that is that. What I'm going to do is uh, get a zip tie and zip tie it here. The next, we're going to feed it through the uh, back here and down to the bottom there. And uh, we'll go to the uh, harness where it connects to. Alright, so I've got the uh, wire zip tied here, as you can see. And I fit it through the back. I've taken my uh, fuse panel cover off. Just have on my three uh, tabs there, really easy to remove. And we got our wire here. So now we gotta fish it through up to the bottom here, and I'll show you what we'll be going to for connecting it. If you get a manual, you got your clutch just to the left of your clutch, and here's our uh, light. And there'll be three harnesses up here, so you can see the black one with this white uh, uh, connector to it the one we need so we just uh, gotta fish the wire to the bottom here and uh, we'll continue on 
All right, now we've got our uh, wire to the back here. Get over here. Now we gotta get access to that harness. So in order to do that, as you can see, there's a small uh, lip here on it. You gotta push that in and then pull this white piece down. Once you do that, it'll release it. Push all the way down until it releases. Once you've done that, you can pull down the harness. Sorry for the camera, but... And there we have. So now I'll take that apart. In order for us to do that, we need clip 19 here of these two. So we gotta remove these outside tabs here in order to gain access to it. So let me do that and we'll go from there. All right, so <clears throat> to get the uh, these cover off the plugs there, what you gotta do is there's two tabs, one on each side as you can see there. So you can use a flathead to uh, pull on either one, uh, both of them anyways, and uh, this will slide right out. It's a bit of a pain since the location it's right in here. Once you have done that, you have the uh, two plugs here. You'll be able to just slide them apart, uh, like so. Just try to do this with one hand. So we're gonna slide them off like so. They should come apart. When you do this back together, it'll be easier with two hands. As you can see, take them off. And there's the two harnesses. This one will be uh, about 10 wires or so and this one a whole bunch we need this one here so the one, with, the one with more wires and we're looking for pin 19 same thing as the other one there should be numbers on it let me try to uh, find him here and let you know which one it is all right so you got your plugs apart face them like this the numbers are right here so all along the bottom here, that's what the numbers are. We are looking for 19, as I said before. As you can see here, we've got, uh, let me see if I can make it out. So we've got uh, 12. There's 15 right here. 16, 17, 18, and 19. So that's what we need. So be the, uh, see one, two, three, four, five, sixth from the right. So it'll be 19 right here, so it'll be between these two wires, which is the yellow, black, and the purple. That'll be 19 right there. That's what we need to uh, plug in our uh, wire to. So let's do that, and we'll have to slide these two back together, put the cover on it, and put it back on. So let's do that, and we'll go from there. All right, so there I put it all back together. So you can see my wire is off to the side. It's not going to get... Uh, Caught up on anything, so it should be good right where it's at. So next, we are going to get our uh, switch, plug it in, and give it a test. All right, so now um, I'm done putting everything back together. Plug in my new switch. We'll have the uh, key on ignition just so I can uh, show everything working. So when I go and put on park, park lights. It's sunny today, so. To see it but no headlights and I'm not sure if you can tell because of the sun these are on but you can look at the back ones As you can see those are on so park lights now we'll go headlights and fog lights so low beams and fox so yeah I'm sure we can really see that one because of the sun but those are my park lights and yeah now everything's working so now when everything works we can put everything back together and that's how you do the park lights with a euro switch on an mk6 gti if any questions uh, comments let me know i'll post the link for the uh the trigger wire that i bought from uh volkswagen dealer all right, thanks for watching, guys.